Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to draw PV and IV curve for that PV array. So in this video, so you have to see about that that IV PV catasex. So for that, just you go to type PV array. So once you type this PV array, you will get this uh, PV array block. Okay, and then you need to connect current measurement and the voltage measurement. Just you go to connect this one, and then you need a controlled voltage source. Okay, and then connect this one here, and then you connect this here. Here you have to measure the voltage across that PV array. Okay, and here I'm going to fix the PV array parameter. So just I'm going to take one and one. Uh, that means series connected models is one, and then pulse is one, and then here I'm going to take uh, the first model. So here you see that that open circuit voltage is 43.99. Okay. So you note down this value. And then I'm here I'm going to fix uh, irradiation, right? So just for that I'm going to use constant. So irradiation is uh, 1000, and then temperature is 25 degree Celsius. So this is a standard test condition. So now we need to vary this uh, voltage across that PV. So for that I'm going to use ramp source. So here I'm going to fix the slope, right? So for example, I'm going to simulate this model for once again, and then slope I'm going to consider uh, like uh, that uh, open circuit voltage. So open circuit is 43.99. So here I'm going to fix 43.99. Okay, and then here you have to store the data so for that you pick two workspace so in that i'm going to use two detail max okay so that means we need to measure uh, three things so one is voltage one is current so another one is power okay so for that i'm going to use product just i'm going to multiply this voltage and current and i'm going to use another logic is stop simulation so i'm going to compare that uh, about to constant if current right a current less than less than zero okay then we need to stop the simulation okay so here i'm going to store the data so here i'm going to consider a data and it's stored like a array okay and also we need to use power gi because we are using specialized power system tool set and also i'm going to <coughs> use scope for seeing the results okay so here I'm going to see the uh, three things. So here we are going to see uh, voltage, current and power. So I'm going to use three input and three layout. So one is voltage, another one is current, another one is power. Okay. So PV, IV, PV panel. Okay. So now I'm going to simulate this one. So now you see that right this is a voltage variation so this is a current variation and this is a power variation but the variation everything with respect to time only so in order to draw that uh, ivpv catasex right so comes to here so here you will you can see the out right out function so this will be very uh, different kind of uh, version matlab versions okay so uh, that means when you go to save this uh, to directly workspace sometime it will be stored directly as a data sometime it will be stored like out function so in out function you can see this one so just you go to uh, separate the data first right so first is uh, ipv so that means vpv okay vpv equal to out data that means it contain uh, the first data set okay so that is called nothing but vpv and then so ipv is second one and uh, third one is power okay ppv so now we have that ipv ppv and vpv so next we go with the plotting command right so for example plot vpv comma ppv okay so just to execute this one evaluate this one so you will get that uh, graph okay so this is a voltage and this is power so if you want to add that uh, detail you can insert x label that means pv voltage 
and then you can insert y label pv power okay sorry so insert y label so this is pv power so you can add the text label and y label here okay same way you can draw between uh, epv and uh, ipv okay so just you close this one so you can draw the graph ipv that mean power versus voltage of the pv now we are going to draw that uh, power uh, current versus uh, voltage graph so here you see that right so you can add x and y label okay whatever detail you, you, you can add that title also okay so now if you want to do for uh, some other graph right some other settings right just you have to change the irradiation and then measure the data and then you can do that uh, same process okay so this is the way of drawing that uh, pv and iv characteristics of the pv array in matlab okay thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye